Sir Patrick Spence, Scottish Anonymous, read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. The king sits in Dunfermline town, drinking the blue reed wine. Oh, where will I get the skeely skipper to sail this new ship of mine? Oh, up and spack an elder knicht sat at the king's wreck knee. Sir Patrick Spence is the best sailor that ever sailed the sea. Oh, a king has written a braid letter and sealed it with his hand and sent it to Sir Patrick Spence, who was walking on the strand. To Norway, to Norway, to Norway over the fame, the king's doctor of Norway, tis thou one bring her him. The first word that Sir Patrick read said loud, loud, loud he, the next word that Sir Patrick read, the tear blended his ye. Oh, why is this has done this deed? and told the king of me to send us out at this time of year to sail upon the sea be it wind be it wheat be it hail be it sleet our ship maun sail the fame the king's rochter of norway tis we maun fetch her hame they hoisted their sails on morning day morn wi all the speed they may they hae landed in norway upon a wooden stay mcready mcready my merry men all our good ship sails the morn now ye are a lack my master dear i fear a deadly storm i saw the new moon late yestreen with the old moon in her arm and if we gang to sea maister i fear we'll come to harm they had not sailed a league, a league, a league, but barely three, when the lift grew dark and the wind blew loud, and girly grew the sea. The anchors brack and the top mast lap. It was sick a deadly storm, and the waves came o'er the broken ship till all her sides were torn. Go fetch a web of silken cloth, and nither of the twine, and wrap them into our ship's side and let nay the sea come in they fetched a web of the silken cloth and neither of the twine and they wept them around that good ship's side but still the sea came in oh laith laith were our good scots lords to weet their cork hilt shoon but lang o'er all the play was played they wat their hats aboon and mony was the feather bed that flattered on the fame, and mony was the good lord's son that never mair come hame. Oh, lang, lang may the lady sit with her fans into their hand, afore they see Sir Patrick Spence come sailing to the strand. And lang, lang may the maiden sit with her gowd kames in their hair, a waiting for their ain dear loves. For them they'll see ne mair. Half four, half four to Aberdour, tis fifty fathoms deep, and there lies good Sir Patrick Spence, with the Scots lords at his feet. And the poem, this recording is in the public domain.